if you want your drum kit to sound from this to this This is what you need. You will need seven things. The first one, mics. One mic per drum. Then you will need clamps and stands for the mics. Next, you will need XLR cables, one cable per drum. You will need a eight channel interface with preamps. Also, you will need an USB type C. Of course, you will need a computer, a PC or laptop. And finally, you will need an audio software. And perfect, now we're ready to begin. The mics you will need are first the kick mic, the snare mic, the next tom mics. In this case, we're gonna use three because we have three toms. And finally, two ambience mics. These are gonna be set on each side of the drum kit. Okay, now it's time to set up our mics. In this case, I'm using a mic stand for my snare drum. And I'm going to set the mic facing the center of the drum head, like this. Here we're gonna use a clamp to put the microphone, and again facing the center of the drum head. And you are going to repeat the same process with the other drums, the other mics. The cool thing is that most clamps come free with the microphone, but not the mic stands. For the kick drum you will need a mic stand and you can place your kick microphone outside the kick drum in the center of the drum head. Also, you can place it outside the porthole, but in my case, I prefer to put the microphone inside the kick drum, right behind where the beater hits. And finally, for the ambience mics, you will need mic stands. You're gonna place them on the sides of the drum kit on left and right side, on top of the drum kit facing the cymbals. Oh yeah! You will need one XLR cable male to female per one mic. In this case, we're gonna need seven XLR cables. And you are going to connect the female side and the mic till you hear the clip. Yeah! And for the kick drum, the cable will go through the porthole to the mic inside the kick. And guys, amazing news for my people from Europe. If you're interested in buying some of my gear, for example, the Alessis Strike Pro Special Edition, maybe my cymbals, maybe the lollipop drum, maybe the pearl compact kit, what else you can find, my pedals, my drum heads, my cymbals, the snare drums, my practice pad, the DW practice kit, everything you've seen on the channel, now you can find them in one store, our official Thoman store, and you can visit our store in the link in the description, this is so nice. <laughs> And guys, thank you, thank you so much for the support. You guys are amazing. Let's go! You will need an A-channel interface because one channel represents one drum. So right now we will need seven channels. And now you're going to connect the male side of the cable to the interface. And a good recommendation is to put labels on the cables so you don't get confused. For example, in this case, now we know that this cable is from the snare drum. And now we're going to connect the kick drum to the input to the channel number one. Our rock tom in the channel number two, the first floor tom on the number four, the snare drum in the number five, our second floor tom in the channel six, the first ambience mic on the number seven, and finally the second ambience mic on the number eight. We connect the power cable, and if you want to listen to your drums in real time while playing, well you will need an aux cable with an adapter. And this cable needs to be long enough so you can connect your in-ears. The next thing you'll need is going to be your computer. And you will need an USB cable type C so you can connect your interface to the computer. And now it's time to turn on our interface. 
Okay, so now it's time for the audio software, GarageBand. And if you were wondering why we picked GarageBand, it's because it comes free in every Mac computer. And we like free stuff, of course. Okay, so first we're gonna create a new project. And now you're gonna select the microphone because we're gonna use microphones. Select the mic and create. This is how it looks, GarageBand in a new project. We close this, we close the smart controls. And now we're going to create eight new tracks, new track with duplicate settings. Now we're going to name the tracks with the name of the drums. Snare. Now we're going to select different icons so we can recognize the tracks better. A kick drum for the kick, a snare for the snare, toms and cymbals. Okay, now we go to preferences, audio MIDI. And we are going to select in output device our interface. In this case, is the Firefly 808. And now the interface is connected to the computer and to the audio software. Now you're gonna open the smart controls and down here in input, you're going to select the number of the channel where the drum is connected. For example, in this case, the kick drum is in the channel number one, we have our rack tom in the number two, the snare in the five, the second floor tom in the number four, and so on. And now right click on top of the track, configure track header, and you're going to select record enable. Let's go. And okay, now the final step is to select all of the record icons in all of the tracks. And now every track is officially connected. To the mics okay and now you select the record icon and you're ready to record some drums this is beautiful <laughs> and the last step is going to be to adjust the volume what i like to do is to take the volume level up to the yellow color the yellow level like this I believe that if it stays on the greens, it's a little bit too low, and if it goes to the reds, it's way too noisy, way too high. So I would say the sweet spot is the jello level, jello color. And now if you want to change the sound of the track, you can go down here on EQ and down here in settings, you can find presets for kick drums, snare drums, cymbals, but also you can do that manually so you can personalize the sound the way you want. So guys, that's it, that's all, that's all you need to record drums from your house, from a studio, whatever you want. It's actually pretty easy when you understand all the things you need, what to connect and where. You know, XLR cables, interface, computer, software, the drums, where I need to connect the mics and everything. Now you know all of the steps you need to do to record drums. So now it's time for you to film some drum covers, some recordings for a band, maybe your own band, I don't know, but now it's time to record some drums. And guys, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.